Drake's mansion is both amazing and awful. What the Drake's hell? mansion is Listen. I don't know. What's Drake's net worth? Hold on. Drake net worth. Let's see. 250 million. That's estimated, bro. It's probably it's probably higher. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. So with money like that, I can only imagine this house is gonna be some crazy. It is so unbelievable that some of its features can only I'm, be you're worth more. Yo, I don't think you are, David. Listen, hey, prove it though. Listen, hey, can I get a dollar? Can I get a few subs? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, prove it. <laughs> described right. as awful look. every bathroom in this house when you walk up to the toilet it opens and starts playing Tupac hit him <laughs> made funnier by the insane the legal battle Drake went through just to have it built the brick wall is an eyesore to my clients in the neighborhood he first purchased the property for 6.7 million in September 2015 at which point it simply looks like this what's up guys 1963 man? bungalow with a three car garage and swimming pool although it was obvious that Drake was focused on a different part of the property you never cared Yo, Metro with the two months. I care about buying land. Drake bought the house for its land and location, being a two acre lot amongst other mansions in the Toronto neighborhood of Bridal Path. The suburb ranked as the richest area in all of Canada, with its residents having an average net worth of 22 million and an average home value of 5.1 million. YouTube videos driving through the area show some of the craziest houses you might ever witness, and as a result, it's no surprise that Drake decided. Yo, bro, you know how I thought, chat? It's like. Realistically, would you want to live in a mansion like this? Like, as big as this, bro. Like, I'm talking about, like, come on. This got to have, like, at least 16 rooms. Like, multiple bathrooms for no reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? Realistically. Squats and I got you with the 25. I'm not doing no freaking squats, bro. I swear I'm not doing no squats. But listen, right? It's like, I feel like I'll get kind of lonely, bro. Like, I think I'll get kind of lonely for real. I couldn't do there. it. On the 18th really? of May 2016, Drake's barely decipherable three-story mansion plans were first released to the public, which accompanied a planning notice at the front of the residence, leading to annoying petty problems before construction had even started. Drake Not really unless you got a family. House... Bro, who has a 16, 16 big family, bro? Unless you get all your family to come, like grandma, aunties, cousins, like hell. He bought to demolish had been designed by a world famous architect, and as a result, he'd be scolded by the media for wrecking a piece of history. In one article titled Drake, Take One Dance with That Bridal Path Home Before Tearing It Down, the writer stated, I'm pretty angry with you for considering it a teardown, while the demolition notice had comments such as, Maybe a minor variance in zoning, but one more sad step in Toronto's blind disinterest in heritage. Although these complaints were nothing compared to the issues caused by the new design, as the proposed mansion was so freaking huge, it goes beyond what's permitted there. Oh, I want to see this The mansion's height of 17 meters was well beyond the 11 meters permitted by council, while his 34 meter wide driveway was three and a half times larger than the allowed width of nine meters. But the aspect that received the most backlash was the height of Drake's new fences. Fences more than twice as high as what other. Bro, who cares? Nah. Why they on my man Drake's meat, bruh? Let him do him. He's got the money for it. Otherwise be allowed, in part due to security concerns on his property. Everyone yes. knows where he sleeps, where he eats, and, and that has really freaked him out. As mentioned, Drake's extra high fences were proposed for security. However, his neighbors made an effort to push back immediately. The brick wall is an eyesore jealous? to my clients in the neighborhood, as it could be observed from every, almost every single room of my client's residence. He just wants some this, privacy for it. sided with Drake after learning he'd spent $1 million on trees for the property, and as a result, the building was finally approved. Roughly two. If I would live in that house, I would get my homeboys in that big ass house. Yo, I can't lie. Yeah. Now nah, I wouldn't want to live with all my like. If it's my house though, I, there's no way I'm having my homeboys live in the house with me, bro. That's kind of crazy. Two months later, Drake's builder and architect Ferris Rafoli posted this image to his Instagram with the title "Let's Get Started." This was followed by another post only eight days later, showing that the block had been completely flattened. Like, bro, I got a family. You want me to have my homeboys in there with me too? That's not gonna work, bro. In the process, creating a brand new problem. Drake's lovely neighbors had launched another complaint against him, claiming that trees were being cut down on the property before they'd received permission to do so. As a result, Drake was now facing a fine of up to $100,000 for every tree destroyed. Although he What? What? 
his builder maintained that they'd done nothing wrong. This was confirmed after a council investigation, which stated there have been no violations, there have been no large trees cut down. Yes, I'm very bro, glad that Drake and the company he has hired is obeying the law. Roughly one month later, an archive satellite view of the property showed that construction was back underway, which accompanied a new post on Ferris's Instagram, hinting at just how crazy the mansion was going to be. This is how we build an official NBA indoor basketball court, shoring an Okay, that's one that I won though. If I was to get a mansion, I needed me an NBA court in there. Excavation in process, which was followed by another post one month later, showing the speed at which the house was being built. In the process, Drake came by to check out the property, which had begun framing only four months later, a stage which was fully completed within a matter of weeks, at which point the builder revealed another crazy detail. While the original plans put the mansion at 21,000 square feet, this number had since been doubled to 45,000 square feet, which included a 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite. For context, the size of an average three-bedroom home is usually around 1,600 square feet, meaning Drake's bedroom was going to be the same size as two fully built middle-class homes. Try. Although Drake showed no remorse for his extravagance, stating, because I was building it in my hometown, I wanted the structure to stand firm for a hundred years. I wanted it to have a monumental scale and feel. It'll be one of the things I leave behind, so it had to be timeless and strong. It's overwhelming high luxury. That message is delivered through the size of the rooms. I wanted to make sure people can see the work i put in over the years reflected yeah, from I, I just want to see what's in the house bro i'm not gonna lie like Beats Shaq's and Jordan's, but while the basketball court could only be described as awesome, there were other aspects of the property that were better described as awesomely stupid. For example, and why do you think Drake Fruity? Oh yeah, he gives us light skins a bad rep most of the time, bro. Like, case in point, bro, what was he doing wearing them freaking? Them bees in his hair, bro. Them, them, them pin ties in his hair. The multicolored, like, bro. It's like you want to get made fun of. Painting his nails. That's got to be the little yachty influence, bro. I don't care, man. Hours just to make a single one. The bed has a whiskey and shade. How are you making us light skins look like this, bro? The bed head and a dedicated team of employees who flip and clean the mattress every three months. In addition to the bed. Oh, this is cool. There were the singing toilets we mentioned earlier, as well as quite possibly the craziest indoor swimming pool you might ever witness. However, it wouldn't be until Drake moved into the home six months later that he'd also show off his separate outdoor pool, as apparently the property needed two separate pools. On top of this, Drake bought a custom Bosendorfer piano for an estimated $500,000, which was shown for the first time in the 2C Slide music video. When you got money, you just got money, man. When you got money, fuck it, man. 500,000 uh, uh, piano, that's free game, bro. Like what, you know what I'm saying? Where Drake would also display a room holding every award he'd ever won. Additionally, Drake was an calm. entire That's hallway calm. for the sole purpose of displaying basketball jerseys. And considering That's Drake calm. also has sun tanning beds in his bathrooms, it's no surprise that even DJ Khaled praised the designer by stating, Amazing job, I want you to build my next estate. I've been thinking the name of Yo. the one we're gonna build together because Embassy is incredible. Champagne Poppy inspired me on another level. I have more work to do. Although even if you include Drake's 12 car garage and 10 million dollar car collection the mansions often quote what is awful about this mansion apart from apart from that it breaks every rules and regulations apparently he's paying fines on it apart from that Listen, he's living good. He's living lavish. The value of 150 million is way over exaggerated. The most expensive home ever listed in Bridal Path was on the other side of Drake Street, which had an asking price of 45 million in 2021. The home was built at the same time as Drake's and has a similar nine bedroom, 16 bathrooms, 12 car garage, and an indoor swimming pool. The property failed to sell for 45 million and has since had its price dropped to 40 million. So while Drake's house is certainly more luxurious, it probably wouldn't sell for 150 million or even half of that. Despite this, Drake has mm. certainly achieved his goal of building a monumental property, albeit at the cost of his time, money, and even his safety. All that for basically no profit. It is what it is. Dope crib though.